Panic again enters the ball screen. And it's good. We're starting to fight continue. Double ball screen here initiated by Kalman. Drazic again really pushing this. And he goes all up. Now close the gap to two points. So all the joys of playoff basketball. Oh, Anderson again with the steal. Almost averages a triple double. So well, you've got to think that it's not going to stay that way for long. Here he is with the ball on the wing. The big man will see how much more he's got left in his tank as this one progresses. He's currently giving this team everything and doing everything he can to bring home the win. Oh, and he's with One, don't be surprised. Oh, Bidmark will pick up on Tratnik. Looks to go 1v1 with him. Finds it inside to tie up, maybe. But uh, we've got Alex Karras moving towards the table. So here we're looking for some uh, more energy off the bench now. Jan Tratnik pushes downhill, goes for the one hand. We have a four-point game, 72-68. Double ball screen again from Kalmar. Dragic has to be careful there not to get his fifth foul cheap and early. Bastian Fulberry will pull. Everybody wait patiently before dropping. In favour of your home team, Nihug for Lions. Cross screen, down screen. To Olanderson rejects the ball screen once again from Vitali. We go handoff with Karas. Karas will hit him straight back on the rock. Fighting with the high post entry, hands it straight back off. Fulberry to Fulberry, big shooter to shooter. Can't get it to go. It's a horrible matchup to try and defend with those two on the floor. Glad I'm not trying to defend that one. Right, they jump the ball screen again. Hoog's ball for Tronic to pick it up. Tronic in the ball screen. Almost gets it poked away by Vitali. Goes into second ball screen with Poirberry. Drives downhill. Pivots out. Turns it over. Tronic now will hold possession for Kalmar. Straight into the ball screen with Poirberry. Great at finding that corner. Mr. Initiator will look to get things going, goes into the ball screen. I'm out. 16-7 now, the lead for Kalmar. Edmund Larson picks the ball up, hands it over to Sebastian Poirberry. He's cut off nicely there by Helgen on the baseline. Find Tratnik now again outside. We will go with triangle with the mismatch over Mario. He's probably looking to pull this off the dribble. He does. Unable to get it to go, but it dribbles back out to the perimeter. Sebastian Hurstrom off the spin. Sebastian Fubé looks to isolate. There's also a rebound. And Lundstedt will pull the second three, but it's not. Emil now for Hugsport. Muller finds Tony. Look, he was off to a real hot start early in the first. Unable to keep it going, though. He wants him now off the screen from Tony. Really having a game of his... Uh, Play of his season, but he's uh, stepping up when it matters here for his team. Well, Anderson now finds Sebastian Fubé looks to isolate. There's all sorts of mess on the inside there between the two Hugsville bigs. So we're four on four down the other. The big man Huberberry's back in. And think of that. And Tronic turns the ball over. Hugsville will push again in transition. Could have had the foul there on the play. Tyson from the short corner. Good mark will push. Gets to the basket, another look inside. Something that Hergsburg are going to have to look out for, but I'm sure they've been prepping for this all week. 
Emil gets inside. And he's... And the Turks will come up with it. To ice the ball screen there in transition. Good wing dive there from Helgren. Back with Vidmark. Ooh, kick ball. And having a solid, not silent performance, but uh, very good. Cool. Gently flushes it home. Uh, watch this man at half time going for 360 through the legs. So believe me. Mario now will look to isolate. He'll spin inside. Gets it. Anderson will get things underway for the home team. Straight to the ball screen with Tony. It's a fine Jakob off the handoff. He pulls the quick fire three. And him out. But Helgren with the ball. Bring the ball up for Hugsbo. Looking to get things going on the offensive end here. Johansson now goes downhill, takes it to the basket. Can't get Carl Bergamo gets the three ball to go from the wing for Kalmar. Emil Lundstedt now will look to push. Bounce. Good second chance. Punish him on the second chance. A pet hate of mine as a coach. Vidmark now drives downhill. Finds Mario at the elbow. Shot fakes. Reverses to Vitali. Finds Karas who will look to pull for three. Turns out. Recycles it to Tony. The ball back off the handoff. We'll look again down the baseline. Unable to get it. Look for uh, Johansson to start finding his shot as well now. As the clutch moments approach. And turns downhill. Reverses to Vitali. Gets it back. He fires it though. Karas now loops around for the handoff. Finds Vitali back at the top. And then Tony Vitali now in the low post. He'll isolate against Lawson. Tyson, sorry, kicks it back out. Hurston will take the dribble pull up. Big man Werberry has uh, eight points already for Kalmar. So, really been aggressive on the start here. The other six have been contributed from the three to go. I won't complain about that one. Told you how hot that boy can get. Vidmark looks to pull but goes with the throw. Contested even though, but still knocking it down. Kerber having a very good game for the visitors. The top. Kratnik will sit. No, he will start this one. And he is joined by big man Tobias Fulberry, Carl Bergamo, Edwin Larson, and Sebastian Fulberry. Two Fulberries go hand in hand inside there. So, ball is with Sebastian Fulberry. And Kratnik he goes for the quick handoff and then over the screen into the ball screen with the big man. Finds Joran Ahmed on the. Sixty-eight, fifty-eight, and we go with the alley oop. Platnik now has it. Keeps it alive off the screen. Kicks to the. Ball on the wing, no strong side corner on that one. Finds a weak side corner. In Janssen will pick up Tronic inside and kicks it back out. Let's take the road victory out of Etterbygden, 84 to 62, to take a 1 mil lead as they go back home next weekend. Well, back to this one. 22 for 9 from the field, 0 for 5 from 3. Well, I think he'll be uh, personally a little bit happy to get. Just to see the ball drop, even if it is from the free throw line. Just to rediscover his form. Werberry inside. Dragovic goes two for two from the line, taking his game total to six. Three steals as well he's been credited for in this one. Alex Karas also back on the floor now for Herg's ball. He'll contest the corner. Panic into the ball screen, finds Werberry inside. Once again with the putback, Herbs will take the lead. I believe it's the first lead of the game. Give it a second. They haven't led if they have before, not since 2 or 4, 2, 2 0, very early. 
Poibre will get the ball to Philip Haldrin. Philip first to Tony Vitali and Louis Kruna keeps his place. Uh, Tronic now throw the balls over to Tyson. Looks to get it back. At the back screen, he'll find Yoran Ahmed at the top for the nature of the two fouls. Well, as of Karas, I don't think it'll be the last we see of him today. He's got to keep his head up on the bench and be ready to go again when his number's called. Yoran Ahmed catches it in the corner. Can't get it, can't get it to go though. Back. Understandable shot selection. Beautiful three man action there from Herbsport to get things going. And we're on the board, it's 2 0 Herbsport. Ben Larson fires the ball inside. Well, now enters inside. Some look. Reverses to Drazic. Drazio will isolate at the high post. Gets his own re Seconds now. Exactly. Left to play in this one. We'll go into Tony Vitali. He'll go for the spin. Finds Horstrom in the corner. He will shoot over. Alex Karras will inbound the ball to Tony Vitali. Straight back to Karras who pulls the three from the wing.